Welcome to my first YouTube video. This project is about using a PIC microprocessor to convert AC 50Hz into 60Hz and vice versa. I hope you will enjoy watching it. Now the big question. Can we convert 50Hz into 60Hz? This leads us to the possible solution of generating a 60Hz locked to the AC frequency. Before I move on, you can notice that I have underlined three words at the top of the video. If you want more information about the scheme being discussed, put this three word into Google and check the first reported link. Then there is a possible solution proposed by myself to an electronic forum a while ago. In this uh, solution, I have chosen to use a phase lock loop to multiply the input frequency by 6 to get 600 Hz. The interesting part is the 600 Hz to 60 Hz uh, frequency converter block shown in the bottom right. This conversion method was mentioned in a famous book, The CMOS Cookbook by Don Lancaster. Best of all, no active filter is required. In this slide, the bottom trace is the staircase waveform and the top trace is the output waveform at the junction of the RC filter. But can one do better to do all that using just a simple 8-pin PIC? This slide will show how I would connect up the PIC. A mode switch to select the output frequency of either 50 Hz or 60 Hz and two LEDs to indicate the selection. When there is no input synchronizing signal, I want the frequency to be exactly what the mode switch selected and the LED should not flash. This is the standalone operating mode. The, fee, the PIC is generating exactly 50 Hz or 60 Hz. When there is AC zero causing signal input, the LED will flash to indicate the zero causing signals and the output frequency will then track the input with a exact ratio of 1.2. Now by counting both the input and output zero causing pulses, a single pulse difference will upset this balance and the PIC software can then proceed to correct the error while changing the output frequency to match. Testing and proving it proved rather difficult, however. First, one would need uh, two frequency counters which can display frequency to a resolution of 100 of a hertz. Secondly, one have to have a very stable frequency testing source where one can vary finely by 0 0.02 hertz. My function generator can't remain stable at this fine resolution and I can't set it every time to the same frequency. Therefore, I have to build one myself using a 12F629, another PIC. I built this testing source to be small so I can power it together on the breadboard and my other project components. This is a comparison of its size to a normal 9V battery. The PIC 12F629 is the chip at the top. You can see a slide switch on the bottom left for the 50 on 60 hertz selection and a white calibration button on the right. The frequency output sockets in the center right and two black frequency adjust buttons at top right labeled F plus and F minus. The square shape output is 50 Hz while the zero causing pulse is 100 Hz. This image shows uh, my workbench with my oscilloscope and two frequency counters. The tray displayed on the CRO is the actual output waveform 
from the PIC after a simple RC filter. The top counter measures output frequency, while the bottom one the input frequency. They are both set to give a uh, frequency resolution of 0 0.01 Hz. This image is the whole project arrangement on my breadboard, where you can see the 12F629 frequency generator module on the left, with a tiny blue wire connecting the zero causing pulses to pin 6 of the main PIC. The CRO signal tapping point is the same as the frequency counter number 2, and frequency counter number 1 is connected to the frequency generator module, so I can read directly 50 Hz instead of the 100 Hz zero causing pulses. This image shows a closer look of the actual 60 Hz output on my CRO. Not bad using only a simple RC filter. Now, let's see the circuit in action. Uh, this is a standalone output test. At the moment, the output is 50 Hz. I can uh, easily change that into 60 Hz by uh, flipping the dip switch.